Well, Donald Trump scored his second indictment this week, bringing him one step closer to his least favorite kind of threesome. Don't worry, Don, that next one is coming soon enough, unlike Melania. Now, the world's imagination has been captured by this photo of classified documents stored in a bathroom. I mean, look at all this. Has bathroom reading changed this much? Did all this happen because Trump forgot to bring his cell phone to the can one time? Also, does Trump use a $10 Target tension rod for his shower curtain? Damn it, man. Spend five minutes and do it right. This is your felony, not your college dorm. Now, Republicans have been twisting themselves into knots trying to defend Donald Trump after his indictment. Check out what Kevin McCarthy had to say. Is it a good picture to have boxes in a garage that opens up all the time? A bathroom door locks. Sure, a bathroom door lock is level top secret secure puberty where your documents are protected from a nosy 12 year old. Now, if you want the free world safe from any adult with a screwdriver, you'll need to go to level special access restricted daddy, which involves a padlock. And finally, there's the usual storage level, which is anyone viewing the document can just put it in their back pocket. How's anyone going to find it in your back pocket? For more on this story, we've got two Trump defenders from the GOP. Hello to both of you. Hi. Hi. Now, how can you defend Trump against these charges? I mean, classified documents stored in a bathroom? This seems careless, no? Well, bathrooms are built for privacy. I mean, that's where people do their most private business. What do you do in the bathroom? Well, first, I like to take a thing of French onion, and then I take my thumb, and I just stick Oh dear God, let's, let's not get too far into that. But guys, I mean, the way bathrooms work is they're locked while someone is in there. In between, they're wide open, right? I mean, why would anyone ever go into an open bathroom? Except to do cocaine. Right, besides that. We know no one does cocaine at Mar-a-Lago. Do we know that? Basically, a bathroom is the exact same thing as a bank vault. Case closed. Hashtag free Donald Trump. Okay, okay, let me show you another picture. This is a hotel ballroom with boxes of classified documents just sitting on the stage. Now this can't be secure. What's not secure about a hotel ballroom? Oh, come on. You've got catering staff walking through there. Donald Trump's catering staff goes through the exact same training as Navy SEALs. Okay, they are trained to withstand torture. Somebody could come in there and be like, you tell me about Iran's nuclear secrets. And I mean, you could break fingers all day. I wouldn't say squat. Why would the catering staff ever need to see details about Iran's nuclear program? If you don't know what's wrong, you can't fix it, right? That's just common sense. Oh my God, I can't even with you two. Do you even believe the stuff you're saying? Andrea, let me say this. Donald Trump has never done anything wrong in his perfect life. He is more innocent than a newborn baby lamb. If anyone is wrong, you're wrong. And people that don't agree with us are wrong. And bean dip is wrong. I prefer French onion. All right, let's end it there. Some Trump defenders, everyone. Boris Johnson has resigned from parliament claiming he's the target of a witch hunt. British people responded by saying, oh no, that's a right shame, isn't it? Oh, I hate to lose a little wanker. If you'd like to hear more about Bojo or just a better British accent than mine, check out the latest episode of our podcast, A Very Special Relationship. Links in the description. Turning now to Texas politics, where the Lose Cruise Super PAC has been created to unseat Ted Cruz. I've already remortgaged my house and robbed several liquor stores to get them some dough, and I urge you to donate to them as well. Bud Light has been knocked off its pedestal by Modelo Especial. A lot of people think it's because of the Bud Light boycott, but it's actually because people realized that they liked flavor in their beer. Nikola Jokic's nightmare came true when his team won the NBA championship. When is parade? Thursday. No. <laughs> I need to go home. Nikola Jokic is me when I find out that my favorite band isn't going on stage till 9.30 p.m. Jesus Christ, you guys. Why do you have to act like rock stars just because you're rock stars? Ugh. New York City's food delivery workers are finally getting a raise. They'll make about $18 an hour plus tips, which for some delivery workers is three times what they previously made. So if we do the math, average rent for a one bedroom apartment is 4,250 per month. So with these new wages, 
all they have to do is work eight hours a day, all day, every day, including weekends. Way to go, NYC. But it was, much like a John Krasinski movie, a quiet place, as subreddits went dark in protest of new API charges. Many found themselves bereft without access to the Horses in Compromising Position subreddit. A study finds that employees who work with AI are at a higher risk for loneliness and insomnia. While this doesn't bode well for our well-being, it does bode well for Netflix, who bought the movie rights to the study for their new film, Her 2, Still Mopey, with Vin Diesel playing the titular AI Her and the human boyfriend played by Pete Davidson. That's based on true events. Vin Diesel does call Pete Davidson every night to tell him a bedtime story. Dr. Deep has emerged from being underwater for 100 days. Some online think he was trying to gain some sort of powers, but initial testing indicates he's only been endowed with the gift of being insufferable at parties. You know, when I was living underwater... Oh, Jesus, not this again. And finally tonight, a woman who was presumed dead was found alive after knocking on her coffin lid at her own funeral. Ladies, if you need some me time, just say so. That wraps up this week's episode. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah,